to see if it has the hole in the back of it. Yep, it's got the hole in the back. All of these toilets tend to have them. I'm not going to take off the tank lid. It's got the original seat and the original handle. I will eventually get this toilet, but I'll probably smash it. I'll probably smash the bowl and keep the seat in the tank. The bowl is worthless. The flapper um, closes, so I have to hold the handle down for a little bit, a couple of seconds. I almost said a thumbs up there, but this thing is an awful piece of crap. I have two of these in my collection. I'm planning on smashing both of them. I have an elongated and a round one, but I'm smashing both. Well, this toilet's a lot better. I'm not going to take off the tank because turn the tank is leaning back. But if you remember the last time, it got a new tank rebuild. As you can see, the, um, you can kind of see what it found, but it's got a new gasket and some new tank bolts. Actually, the other tank bolts were the original ones, and they were actually almost shiny like new like that. Here's the model number. It's got two holes. They usually have holes there, but I... Never seen it right there. Honestly, like the design of these, they're like, they're like a very small, compacted design. This seat is not original. It's just a cheap brand seat. The flapper. I I used to have to hold the handle, but now it the flapper closes. So let's give it a flush. I honestly kind of like these. I mainly like them because they're fully glazed trap leaves. I use this toilet quite a lot and it does really well. This is a couple of feet. Excuse that it's dark, but I'm just gonna flush it in the dark. I am not going to put the light on because I can't stand that thing. This is exactly like that Orion toilet I have. This thing is mad awful. It still has the logo, but you could barely see it. Yep. I'm not going to show the inside of the tank. Seat's brand new. My grandma just gave this, this squishy seat to me. Yeah, the trapway opening on this toilet is just tiny. It's like an Elger, but it's an Orion. As you see, it has so many glazed cracks in the bowl. They're not structural cracks, but they're glazed cracks. They have glazed cracks all around the rim. Some even on, these are, no, these are just markings, but a lot of markings on the tank. And some more um, glazed cracks on that part. This toilet is just infested with too many glazed cracks. That's underneath. And that's the model number. So, yeah, let's get this toilet a flush.
Now, if you say that, I honestly kind of like that flush. Well, it's a little weak, but... The flush, I find, is pretty good. But the performance on this toilet is just... Awful, and it's got... I'm gonna try to find some more glaze cracks. And it surprisingly doesn't... It's got one right there. It surprisingly doesn't have any around this part. But it's just got... Quite a bit on there, and it's got some in the bowl. I guess I'm gonna try to remove the tank lid. Okay. Here's inside the tank. It was made in 1995. And you see the Orion logo on there. But. Yeah, the flush valves, the only original part in here. The rest are replacement parts. I guess I could give it one last flush for you guys. I might, I might throw in a little bit of toilet paper. Let's see if we could just take this little bit of toilet paper. that will call it but still this toilet is an awful toilet but I still honestly like the flush all right let's see if it could take this amount of toilet paper if it can't take this this is gonna be depressing I am gonna douse it in there to get it all wet and I'm gonna kind of end up helping it but Still, if I if it clogs on this, this will be absolutely depressing. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, you've got to be serious right now! That right there. It's really, really depressing. That that wasn't even twenty five feet. That was only that wasn't even twenty five feet. That was only fifteen feet. Now that now that is very that is very pathetic, if you ask me. Probably probably one of the worst Orion toilets ever made. I honestly think this toilet is worse than one of those Orion Navaras. An Orion Navarro or even a Briggs Ultima could take that. Shh. Yeah, a Briggs Ultima could take that and this toilet can't even take it. So I might wait for the tank to fill up. I want to see how small this trap we opening is. I can barely, I could barely even fit four fingers. It's like barely even three fingers. No. So the trapway opening is about three fingers long, which for a toilet like that, it needs to be at least four fingers or maybe your whole hand, but at least it needs to be four, four fingers wide. So yeah, this toilet is absolutely pathetic. <laughs>